Hey, a pleasant good morning, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Bork, and this should be a pretty quick trade deadline recap as the Bruins made one significantly great move and another move that got rid of a player that requested a trade out of Providence, really played most of his games down there, never was able to really catch on with the Boston Bruins at the NHL level, but has shown the skill. I've watched a decent handful of Bruins games this year um, on AHL TV and has found the touch at the AHL level via shooting the puck, being able to set up... <clears throat> as well in a secondary um, level, so I think Zach Session has a chance in a new setting, but uh, it, that's a perfect trade for the Bruins because they bring in Josh Brown, who's a good physical defenseman, that they add his good defense depth after obviously bringing in the huge big kahuna in Hoppus Lindholm, so they get two good defensemen at the deadline, Josh Brown that's good for depth plus a seventh, and Zach Session and a fifth go to Ottawa. And then in the Hampus Lindholm trade, obviously that was a lot. 2022 first, 2023 second, 2024 second. Yorho Vakanainen, who I believe has the ability to be a top four defenseman. And then John Moore, who's of course an AHL veteran, NHL guy that's played a lot of NHL games. And then Cody Caron um, came back to Boston as well as Hampus Lindholm, who Caron's another guy that's played mostly in the AHL of late and I think has a handful of NHL games as well. Um, I don't really know as much about Cody Caron compared to um, John Moore. But when it comes to Hampus Lindholm, he's one of the best shutdown defensemen to me in the league that's not talked about as much for whatever reason, I think because they don't talk about the West Coast team as much as necessarily the mainstream. But Lindholm's a fantastic shutdown defenseman. Fits in like a glove with this defense. It's going to be interesting to see where they put him, though. They have Riley McAvoy, Grizzly Carlo, and Forbrook Clifton on cap friendly. So it definitely is going to be interesting to see where they throw in him in here. Um, and then obviously, they also were able to pick up Josh Brown now, who they add as depth. So they could have take out Derek Ford, but he's been solid this year. Mike Riley's been very solid this year as a lefty because they have been going left ready. You're obviously not taking out Grizzly, Carlo, McAvoy. So um, what are they doing between, I think it would be Forbert or Clifton you're choosing between there. And if you take out Clifton, you can, you're going left-lefty, which I don't think is a problem, to be honest. Um, but uh, it's something that they obviously have it set up right now, left-right, left-right, left-right. And I'm not, and I don't think that's coincidental. I think that's what they want, obviously. So uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how he slots in. Because, damn, if Derek Forbert becomes a guy that's coming off of your bench then with how good Connor Clifton was able to step up in 45 games this year, hasn't been great, but he's been solid enough, and it has been good for for the Bruins uh, in twenty six or in twenty sixteen. He's twenty six years old <laughs> and forty five games. Um, that that really helps. So I mean, no matter what, if you have Clifton or an extra now along with Joshua Brown or Forbert as an extra along with Joshua Brown, that's a hell of a lot better than what you had uh, before when this team I already think had a very solid defense that continued to grow with the Mike Rileys of the world playing fantastic. Clifton stepping up and Forbert being good. Getting a great shutdown defenseman in Hampus Lindholm and signing him for eight years to a $6.5 million cap hit was absolutely genius because Hampus Lindholm is 28 years old. You're going to get for him, because it's not like he's a guy, he's a strider. He's not a guy that has ever related or related relied on his skating ability, relate, relies on his great stick reach and just his great instincts and wits on the ice to be able to be that great shutdown defenseman using his body smartly, blocking guys out, hitting guys um, off the puck. Uh, he's a fantastic defensive defenseman. I think the Bruins are going to love him for years to come, and I do see them getting at least five great years out of him out of that eight-year contract, and I, I, I would say six. Uh, I heard Campus Lindholm is a guy, isn't, he hasn't ever relied on speed, he relies on his size and ability and reach and his, the, just how intuitive and witty he is on the ice and smart, so uh, I see him continuing to age gracefully into his 30s, I think that they're probably six very good years out of him, at the very least, that's a very good leader as well. So this has been the Bruins trade deadline recap, fantastic trade deadline by then, wasn't busy, but they got rid of Session, who wanted out of there, and were able to get a great depth defenseman plus a seventh back, so that's a win for sure, and they were able to get Hampus Lindholm, one of the less talked about great defensive defensemen in the league, that with the right forward core, has had seasons he's <clears throat> produced at a C-level offensive pace, so that's also Nice. He's not a guy that's a, that's a, a slouch at all at passing it up the ice. It's just not something he needs to necessarily do. 
but he's not a guy that's going to be like Adam Larson at times, somebody that's a great defensive defenseman, but sometimes flutters it, getting it up the ice out of the neutral zone, etc., etc. You're not going to have to worry about that with Hampus Lindholm. But peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the hockey season. The trade deadline was mighty fun. Please remember to subscribe down below. Up above and these are these widgets. Keep us growing the 215 or more to meet the end of March goal. Stay safe, everybody, and enjoy the rest of the season.